Hi guys, it's Owen from Mast, and today we're going to be going through the different ways that you can export footage from your NVR or using a laptop and logging into your standalone camera. So the first method that we're going to show you is exporting footage from your NVR. This can be done a couple of different ways, however we're going to show you this first way of doing it, which is by using the search option in your main menu. Uh, and if we select a day that has some footage on it. So from here, we can see that we have some footage from midnight last night on our front door. And what you can do in this scenario is you can essentially clip that footage. So these clips can be five to 10 minutes or they can be the whole 24 hours of the day. If I want to snip some footage, so I'll just play until about 2 a.m. in the morning if I click snip there. We can see that the time has changed to 2.07 to so the same time that I pause it at. And then if I want to go to like just after 3 a.m., pause it again and then click snip, it will then let me save that uh, bit of the footage. So if I click save, it will then tell me what devices I can then save that footage to. So when you want to snip your footage, you will see different options in this list from here. So I think in this case, R is for general and your M is for motion. You can also pick different file formats uh, between DAV and MP4. DAV is just a standard DAWA type, so whenever you want to play back a DAV file, you will have to use uh, the DAWA Smart Player, uh, which I believe is still inside the DAWA toolbox. And then you can also export as a MP4. Uh, of course, you can use something like VLC's Media Player uh, just to play back that footage if you want to. The benefits of using, using DAV is that you will see things like uh, intrusion boxes, trip wires, that kind of thing, the AI rules that do show, uh, you will see those in the playback of the exported footage, whereas, uh, whereas on MP4, you won't see that type of footage. So in this case, if I do want to back up the footage, I can either select all of these different uh, recordings for motion and general, or if I just want the one, then of course I can just select one of those and back up that file. When I want to back up that file, it'll obviously tell me where I want to put that footage. Uh, and obviously if you've got a folder already set up, that's primarily for exported footage. And you can just select that folder and click OK and it'll just start backing up for you. So that is one way of backing up footage. However, there is another method as well. So if we come out of this and go over to the backup option on the main menu again, you will see a list of different options and this will allow you to back up multiple days worth of footage instead of just looking at one singular day. So from the list of options here, you've obviously got your uh, device. So in this case, we're using a USB stick as the storage device. You can format that device as well if you just want to use it for primarily for recorded footage. Uh, you can pick your storage path as well, like usual, if you've got a folder as well dedicated for that. Uh, obviously the record channel, so which channels that you want to back up. In this case, you can do all as well. Uh, in this case, I'll do channel three. If I can click channel three, or channel three and D1. And then obviously the type as well, so you can pick from a list of different options. If it is just intelligence that you are wanting to back up the footage for, so your AI analytics for tripwires or you know face detects, whatever it may be, you can select that as well as your main and your substream. Uh, you can pick a period of the days. So last 30 days, or in this case, I've picked custom and obviously pick the days of the 25th of May, back up the, the footage from that. And then of course you can also pick the file formats again. So if I now go ahead and click search, it should bring up a list of recordings that I can pick from, yeah, from which ones I want to back up. So in this case, you'll see a list of general motion and intelligent recordings from this. So I can pick which ones I want from down the left-hand side and obviously back up those foot, those bits of footage from there. So if I just wanted one bit of it, uh, then I can just click back up and then it will start backing up that space onto the USB stick and ask me actually which folder I want to put that into because I didn't actually pick a storage path at the top there. So I can pick which folder I want to uh, or just put it into this one here, into the main USB. And then of course I can review that footage either through Dower's Smart Player or through something like a VLC Media Player and do that. So those are a couple of ways of doing it direct from the MVR uh, with the USB stick being used in this case. But now we're gonna move over to the laptop view uh, and of course logging into a standalone camera to see what that looks like as well. So now that we've moved over to the laptop version or the web-based version, uh, we're gonna go through exporting the footage on here and also through the standalone camera as well. First things first, uh, what I've got set up is just a four port PoE switch connected into the laptop and the MVR and also the camera. Uh, so that way I can get onto those devices using the config tool. So as you can see here, 
Um, a couple of both of those devices here show up on the 192 IP address and I've just logged into those ones. Put a laptop on a sta static IP address and that's allowed me to log into them. So from the NVR, uh, same similar scenario, uh, but it works slightly different. Um, so if I go over to the search setting, we should then be able to see the list of recordings again that we can pick from. So if I just go to that exact same one, so if I go to May again, and pick a date and then if we just choose one camera so from here if I click play on the footage and if I pause it we'll see we'll see a preview of the image as to what it's showing but again same similar thing where you want to click on the um, scissor icon near the bottom right and you'll see this time it's slightly different it will show two white arrows on the very left hand side and the very right hand side of the timeline what you can do is you can click and drag these or of course you can just type in the actual boxes themselves a time so for example between 5 a.m in the morning and if we do just five minutes of a footage so if i do 05 and then 00 i can then save that footage again by clicking the save icon and it will ask me what file format and where I want the path of the footage to go to, to be saved to. So for, that, for example, if I pick MP4 and click OK, we should then start to see in the bottom right hand corner, you can see there, it will start exporting that footage into that folder on this laptop. So once that's finished, uh, depending on the size of the file, obviously it will take longer. Since that was just five minutes, uh, it didn't take too long. So once that's done, um, you can then go to your folder and obviously view that footage in whatever media player you want to view, view that in. If I then go over to backup, which was our other option on the recorder, um, you will want to also be in either um, Internet Explorer mode if you're using Microsoft Edge or just um, Internet Explorer if you do still have that on, on your laptop. In this case, this one does. So if I go over to the next page and go to backup, I will then see the same similar list of options that I got on the NVR. So again, your storage path, uh, where you want to store the footage onto, which channels you want, uh, the type of recording, again, if it's general or it's, in, or it's uh, intelligent. You can then do period, obviously, which day you want or a custom one, uh, if it's yesterday or something like that. The file format, again, DAV or MP4, and your stream types, and you've also got download by file and download by time as well. So again, if I was to do the same similar thing of setting up a a custom period uh, from that day on the, on the 25th of May and click search. I can then uh, back up that footage uh, onto this laptop again. Same similar type of scenario. Once it's backed up, you can go to that folder, open up the footage and obviously view it from there. So now I've gone through the couple of ways of uh, going through that with a web browser. Uh, we'll now move over to the actual head of a camera, which I've put an SD card into. Uh, so throughout this time it should have been recording which we can export some footage from. we we'll quickly jump over to, over to that now and uh, show you how that works. So now that I'm logged into the head of the camera, uh, we can see from the playback op options on here that we can do the same similar thing that we can do on the NVR. Uh, so it's still the same principles of snipping the clip uh, and exporting that bit. As an example, I've got 11.08.57 to 11.26 and then of course uh, you pick your start point and your end point so I'll just quickly demonstrate that as well so if I go to a bit of the footage towards the start and if I snip that it then changes the time to 11.09.02 and 11.08.57 for the start and the end time however if I also want to do a start time and then select end time so if i go to 11 12 if i pause up there and i select my end time and then moves the time over to 11 well 12 minutes past 11 in that case and then of course i can just click the download icon or the save icon it will just bring up a prompt asking you that you, know, you can't download and play back the file at the same time so just, just click ok You'll see in the bottom right that it started to download from there. Obviously, same thing applies for if the file type is very big, you know, if it's the whole day, then of course, you know, that is going to take a lot longer. You can also um, download just batches of them. So if I click the icon towards the bottom right there, 
over the download icon. You can see here that it also brings up the backup option that you get on the MVR. So you can then you know pick your start time and end time, so any sort of day and time on there, and obviously then click search, and then it should bring up a list of the files on there. So I wonder if I, if I click search on here, it does actually bring up some of the files from today. So from here, I can pick which ones I want, and then of course, you know where I want the file path to be, and of course, what type of uh, format I want that to be in. And then once I've selected which ones I want, I'll just click download, and then you'll see the download progress on the right hand side uh, go up on there. But of course, you also have another way of, uh, if you click the columns again on the bottom right hand corner, you will also see that you can quickly download each type of file format uh, from here as well. So bits of the recorded footage, you'll also, if you hover over them, it will display the start time and end time of these footages and obviously the file size alongside of them. So you can also quickly download each one of them from there and obviously pick which file formats again. And there's a drop down which asks you from which you know type of event that you want to uh, primarily export the footage for. So yeah, those are the uh, different ways for exporting footage uh, through a head of the camera and through the MVR through the web browser. So hopefully now you know how to export footage from a MVR and from a laptop view. We do also include this in our uh, end user guides uh, that come with an MVR whenever they are pre-configured with a hard drive. Also bits of information included in the technical introduction. It goes over exporting footage as well, as well as lots of other important key bits of information that should be handy to any installer that is on the job. Hopefully you guys like this video. Of course, give it a like and subscribe for more content and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.